A man is dead days after he was pulled out of the ocean in Crescent Beach. Investigators say 26-year-old Andrew Miller was swimming Saturday when he had to be pulled from the water. That face when I close my eyes, it's getting better every day, but that face. And I said, I said, he's like, I'd say 25. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, it could be my kid. That could be my son. That was Tracy Euro, a witness who helped perform CPR, and she spoke to News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel, who's joining us now live. Corley. Kim, we're at the ramp here in Crescent Beach where that incident happened on Saturday. And on that day, the conditions out here for swimming were not safe. Um, the rip currents were dangerous, and if you take a look at the conditions today, you can see that there are dangerous rip currents out here as well. I spoke with a witness who says she was running on the beach when she and a fisherman stopped to help. News for Jacks also learned that the man who died was in a tragic motorcycle crash in 2017, but he survived. Near the shoreline along Crescent Beach is where Tracy Euro says she noticed a man's body lying in the water while out on a run on Saturday. It looked like somebody was laying in ankle deep water. Euro and a fisherman immediately took action. I said, we need help, right? He's like, yes. Euro says she began giving the man CPR. Took her clothes and tried to clean off his face. And sweet boy. And in that time, did he seem alert? At no, all? no, no, no. No, there was no, there was no life in in this in this young man. First responders arrived and took 26-year-old Andrew Miller to the hospital. According to the report, his wife called deputies after she lost sight of him while he was swimming in the ocean. We were praying, 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 praying. Because mm -hmm. I saw his wife come up as we were doing this. What was it like seeing her? That was horrific. Apricot. Miller's family says he beat the odds before surviving a motorcycle crash in 2017. Apricot. He spent a year learning to walk and talk again, then eventually was strong enough to participate in the Gate River Run. Euro says she wishes she could have saved him. That face when I close my eyes, it's getting better every day, but that face. And I said, I said, he's like, I'd say 25. I mean, I. Yeah, I mean, it could be my kid. That could be my son. Tracy, you're also wants to remind people to not get in the water if the conditions are too dangerous for swimming. Reporting live from Crescent Beach, Corley PL Channel 4, the local station.